a lot of people think that I dress to make people talk and it's not like that, I just dress how I like. At the end of the day, I feel like I'm doing something that makes me happy and I'm not harming anyone. What have we so got going here? On? My guy, you good? Yeah, very good, man. Good How to see are you, man? Smash shirt? Yeah, got customised oh, with your name. Oh, like hey, I want that after. I want that after. <laughs> got this one as well for you as well. A little gift oh, to you. Sick. Oh, sick. From the year we were born. Much. Oh, 1995 yeah, yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. Wow. wow, that's amazing. Thank you very much, man. So basically, we've got um, a collection of kits to basically tell your life story. Yeah. We're going to start with your early childhood. Just put, okay. talk me through these ones and just tell me what they mean to you. <laughs> okay, so uh, my dad was a Real Betis fan. This is the... I actually, he actually had that, this kid when I was really young. They used to get me this... Um, it was a plain green and white football kit with no branding, no badge, nothing. And they just told me, oh, that's a Betis kit. And I was like, okay, cool. So I used to go on the road there. Uh, to play with it and like when I was growing older and other teams where like Madrid used to win loads of games and Barca and I was like oh dad I'm not sure I want to be Betis no more it's like no 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 every time you go outside to play football you have to wear it and I was like cool so I was a bit forced at some point so we got some classic Spanish shirts as well just yeah. to pick me through and tell me what ones I stick think, out to you I think this one actually was the first one uh, that I remember them playing in because uh, one of the earliest memories that I have of the national team playing, I was in my grandmother's house and um, the team was playing. I remember Morientes was there, was there, Raul were playing. I just remember being like, this is what I want to do like when I grow up. And this is one of the first kits that I always like um, remember. Do you, do you like the kits um, based on their design as well? I love the retro kits, man. not just this one, but all the 90s kits nowadays. I just think like, you know, everyone should look at them and be like, yo, we need to make the cool version of this, like, you know. But yeah, this one, this one I, I really remember. Um, but the, the first player that comes to the head is Ramos wearing this and Torres wearing this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on Torres on fire, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, when I was growing up, I, I, I had this exact one. Everyone in my family used to have like, we used to get like fully red ones and just with a national team badge on it because every season they would be red so <laughs> we didn't have to get another one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I love the way the, like the badges were back in the day. They were like actually sold in the shirt line. Mm. Right now there's so many teams that they just put like a little bit of plastic and it's cool and you know, I feel like this gives a lot of worth to the shirt because wearing a badge is actually very big and you know it should be represented in especially something for like your this. country as well yeah. yeah now so you grew up as a real betis fan but do you sign for the the giants here this one the first yeah this is the first one that i ever wore ah. playing for barca but i remember like uh, my mom always tells me that one of the first times I put the shirt on, I said to her, like, Mom, when I put the shirt on, I feel like I transformed myself. But I think it was actually the fabric or something that felt a bit weird, but you know. Trying to put on that shirt, did you have like any doubters that you would you would you would make it in, in that in that the, the thing is like I was never thinking like oh, I have to be a player, I have to I was just loving everything that I was doing. And when I was growing old at Barcelona, yeah, let's go for like like when I I must have been like probably like 11, 12, when I was wearing this one, this one, like, that's when Messi started, you know, long hair, started banging goals. And um, this one, I used to uh, have a lot of stress at school. I mean, uh, I used to get loads of good grades, but, um, you know, I was always outside my house because I had to travel to Barcelona to then uh, come back and stuff. So playing football was my way out of, like, like normal life. Yeah, we had one of the best generations at Barcelona. We beat the records from like uh, Cesc and Piquet's generation and Bojan's and all of that. So, uh, you know, the 95 generation is always going to be there as one of the best for sure. Let's talk about this guy here. Yeah. How much of an influence was this shirt and him to you? He was the guy that showed everyone that football should have always a smile on your face. Do you know what I mean? Like, Football was always being about like, uh, you know, being angry on the pitch and like tackling and being focused. And this guy used to have fun. Like you'd see him, like he'd miss a pass and it didn't matter, he was smiling, he was happy, you know? So um, I think it was a revolutionary for, not just for Barcelona, but for Spanish football and in Europe to, you know, um, have him playing at such club. And since the first day, he just made an impact and every single player just wanted to be like him. Nice, so you move over to London. Mm -hmm. What does this, this badge here mean to you in this shirt? It was just like a dream come true for me. I have loads of 
pictures with this um, with this shirt that I keep in my I actually have them printed in my home because this was the year that I think I probably learned the most in my whole career because I came as a winger and Arsenal want me to play as a right back so this was the year where everything I know kind of like defensively was taught to me. So, so we've got your Arsenal career so far just tell me what kind of things stick out to you what moments. This one was my full and debut I remember this one coming out of centre midfield. You know, I always say like, uh, Ven um, Mr. Venga came to me and said, uh, Hector, you're coming on as midfield. And I said like, I started laughing actually a little bit. He was like, I'm serious, like, Mikel is coming off, you have to go in. So uh, he just told me like, just pass it easy and then just make sure you're sitting in front of the fence and listen to the experienced players at the back. So that's what I did. Borussia Dortmund was like my Champions League debut with Arsenal. It was actually my first starting game. Since I saw that name on the board that I was starting, I was, you know, so scared. <laughs> but then after I thought like if I've been able to cope with this game, I can cope with everything. This is a uh, FA Cup final, probably the most special moment in my career. Well, I want to ask you, just looking at these shirts, it seems yeah. like your number keeps trickling down. You go from yeah, 40, 40, now you're 24, and now you're number two. How much yeah. is how important is that number two to you? So basically, when I first signed with Arsenal, uh, when I signed my contract with Barcelona, they they gave me a shirt with a Bellerin number two. It took me seven years to get to it because I had been saying to Vic Akers for the season, I was like, Vic, listen, if Matthew for some reason is going on low or something this year or he's going out, please, can I get a number two? He's like, Hector, don't worry, I've got it locked for you. So when it finally happened, it was like one of the happiest moments. And even the first game I played with it, it was a friendly game, but I was just like so proud that I could finally wear the number two. We've got some outrageous ones here from Arsenal yeah. Classics. Just tell me what you think about these designs. I think like these iconic shirts, they just like, they need, I even like the baggy fits. Like all these shirts nowadays are just like very tight. So I feel like, yeah, even the short shorts as well. Yeah, yeah. I think there was a, that was a look, man. That was a look. So do you, Arsenal players or players in general, anticipate the release of a new shirt? Me, when I was young, I used to, when we started getting internet, I was like always researching, like, oh, what's the next uh, Barca shirt coming out? What's the next uh, Madrid uh, shirt coming out? Or like Juventus or Arsenal. Like, I was just like, when there was like that MSN era and stuff, you know? So, um, yeah, I was that kid that, um, you know, when there was like leaks of shirts and stuff, like, I would love to just like go and see and then tell my friends, like, hey, look what I found, like, this is gonna be the next shirt and stuff like this. But I think now, obviously, when you get through the years, I feel like when you get older, there's so many shirts that sometimes it's just like, unless it looks really bad and everyone's like, oh, do we really need to wear this? <laughs> but um, I love one of some of the designs that Puma have made uh, lately. So obviously you're known for your swag. You always go viral every every outfit, you, every outfit you put on. So we've got some of the best, most stylish kits here. Yes. And basically, I just want you to take me through them and tell me which ones you like. I feel like some of these must have been goalkeeper shirts, innit? This is... Feels like wet paint. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> is that even comfy to wear? <laughs> you imagine wow. if it rains and you're wearing that. Nah, that must be like three kg on top of you. I like this Japan one. Crazy, that floral. Ugh. Floral. What does that even mean? Is that like a mini gold? Is that like a mini gold? <laughs> this is a Cameroon, but I think Senegal made a very similar one that I had as well. I love this one. Yeah, I love Mexico this Mexico one. Makes me want to watch Narcos straight away. <laughs> Narcos shirt. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what I want to know is, you're so into fashion. Where did this come about from? You know, I always had this thing in me. That I was just wanted, wherever I went, I just wanted to look good. Like, I remember like, when I used to go to school, um, the teacher used to say to my, to my mom, like, Hector looks like he's going to a restaurant, like, and he's just coming to school. But I was just that kid, I just wanted to look good. So, um, yeah, I felt like he just took this kind of natural path. And, uh, you know, being in London, I think the city helped me a lot in terms of, like, being able to express myself and having opportunities to meet people in the industry and stuff. And, you know, it's been something that the more I've been getting into it, the more I love it. So why do you think, like, kids here, especially in London culture is big like I can't, I can't tell you how many times I've this seen this big. Nigeria yeah, this yeah, Awobi yeah, one here yeah, like yeah, how many times I went to parties and I've seen these out I think it's big because obviously nowadays everyone wants to look good right and everyone there's a lot of this hype beast kind of like uh, a uh, system now that everyone just wants to have these pieces that are very hard to get. My friend, um, I went on holiday with him for two weeks and I think he wore this shirt for like 10 days in a row. And every single person that he was seeing outside with a kit, they were all like, we're friends, man, <laughs> you know? So your style obviously makes you a different type of player, you know? Do you feel like you need to be courageous to do that, to kind of just be yourself and express yourself in all ways? People don't want to be diverse or they're scared to be diverse. When I think like that's the beauty of it, like, people just dress in a certain way to fit in. You know, sometimes being outside of the box is, is, is the cool thing to do. So, you know, I, sometimes I see 
people on the street and I'm like, yo, I want to dress like that guy. I want this and I want that. And it's cool to get um, inspiration from other people. But I feel like, you know, kind of like stereotypes are meant to like be broken as well, you know? And uh, you know, I just dress, uh, a lot of people think that I dress to make people talk and it's not like that. I just dress how I like. At the end of the day, I feel like I'm doing something that makes me happy and I'm not harming anyone. When I post a picture with it, I'm not asking anyone to like it. <laughs> I'm just posting it because I want to, you know. It's like a niche group, you know, um, footballers who have style. You got this guy here, Vex. Of course. No C Perlo. He's the one that changed so the game. So who's who, who's the more, who's the most stylish, you or these two? <laughs> nah, I can I can be in the in the same group, man. I think. Perlo is just like his style on the pitch as well. Like he had this persona, like this very relaxed guy that he said he didn't even move. And then you see these pictures with like drinking wine and with his suit. And I think, you know, he was like the most Italian guy that you could find out there. But I think uh, David Beckham was like probably the, the man that changed the game. He was the first one that, you know, get those commercial deals and, uh, you know, uh, going out with a Spice Girl. He was like doing things that no one was doing back then. And I think, he opened loads of doors uh, for now, and he started loads of conversations, so now football can change. You're in a burning building now, yeah, and you've got to save two shirts. One based on what means the most to you, and one based strictly on the style. Let me, let me put them together first. This, cause this is my family. This was my first Barca shirt, and this is the one I won my first professional trophy with, so it's got to be it's just so hard, man. I'm going to give you a pass and let you have all three. Yeah, yeah you yeah, sure? Yeah, I'm going to give you a pass. Okay, now, best looking kit here. I love this one. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. one is... But I've, I love this one too, you know? Ooh, I'm only giving you one. Well, I'll stay with this one, man. Yeah, Japan? <laughs> I'll stay with this one. Nice. I want to make a shirt out of this. Thank you, man. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you very Appreciate much, it, man. Have fun, man. Love. Good to see you. Yes, guys, another episode in the can. For more of what I wore, click up here. And to subscribe to the BT YouTube channel, click here.